brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. The grace of God is sufficient for you. The grace of God is sufficient for you. Amen. Let us take our Bible, the book of Jeremiah chapter 17. We take it verse 5. This is what the Lord says. Cursed is the one who trusts in men. What is the first weight? What does cursed mean? Put it in your language. Say not lucky. <laughs> that is that is the best language you can use. Say not lucky. If you are cursed, you are not lucky. Cursed is the one who trusts in who depends on flesh. <laughs> who depends on what? For for his strength. See what I was this is what I was talking about earlier. And whose heart turns away from the Lord. And How is the man whose heart turns away from the Lord? How is he? How is the man that depends on flesh for strength? He will be like a bush in the wastelands. He will not see prosperity when it comes. The man is cursed. The man is he will not see what? Not that it, it wouldn't have come that he's not prospering. It has come, but he will not see it. I'm not prospering because there's no prosperity. You are not true. He will dwell in the patched places of the desert. Patched means dry. It is desert, but still his place will be what? Pest, dry. He's still in a desert. The desert is dry, but the scriptures say he will dwell in the dry. In a salt land where no one lives. Who is this man? What makes him cursed? He trusts. He trusts. For what? He trusts in. You are men. Are you not men yourself? Yes. Don't believe when they say men, they are talking about the neighbor. You are men. You may be cursed because you trust in yourself. So don't believe that when they say men, they are talking about pastor. And he's cursed because he depends on what? For what? This is, this, is, this is flesh. We believe for you to eat. This is muscle. We trust in flesh for strength. We trust in lie, fake CV for employment. Cursed, you see. Give wrong identification to impress the lady for marriage but the impression is wrong he borrowed a car to visit her from the friends because he wants to impress the lady the tie he wore going for that dinner is not his cursed is such wrong impression depends on flesh for strength let's continue where are we now but 
Blessed is the man who trusts in the You know trust does not mean mere belief. Trust does not mean what? I, I have just, I'm going to church. I believe. No. Trust. Total reliance. Total what? Is what? That is trust. We are still at seven. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its root by the word. It does not fear when heat comes. Why are you afraid? You are afraid of challenges because you don't trust in God. Why are you afraid of retrenchment when people are being retrenched at work? Why are you afraid? You are afraid because you don't trust in God. Why do you fear when you pass through dangerous zone? Where is your God and where is your God? Because your God is your God. Your shield. My shield. My protection. Psalm 91. It was better. Verse. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always Its leaves are always It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to Who is your trust? It's easy to say that. Much much easier. It takes no license. You don't need license to say God is my trust. If God is your trust, blessed are you. But if men, including yourself, is your strength, cursed are you. The Lord so did la fella hot la sala di lo sote di hot he 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 fangredi He fangredi He fangredi hold it He fangredi He fangredi He fangredi He fangredi He fangredi Hey, fan ready. Hey, fan 
I don't need to tell you that man has a beginning and therefore an end. I don't need to tell you. It will be useless for me to try to train you that even man, as he comes, he shall go. There's no need because you attend funerals, you bury presidents, you bury pastors, you bury bishops, you bury your own leaders, you buried your own children, you buried your parents, you buried your counselor, you buried your teacher, and you are the next to be buried. I don't need to tell you. The Lotote Dita fell, including me. Cursed is the one who trusts in flesh, whose confidence is in flesh for strength. Flesh. Your, 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 your flesh, they're talking about, they're talking about you. The first sign that you are not serious. When we lift up the Bible, you have nothing to lift up. That's the first sign. You are not taking anything serious. Or you'll be lifting up the pocket, the pocket Bible. The one you just put in the pocket. You want to tell me that that is the one you study to know the mind of God. You want to tell me that is the one you study to know God's statutes. You want to tell me that it is the one you read for impartation of strength. You're not serious. This is how it used to be in those days. When one surrenders to Jesus, when they enter the church and decide they want to surrender to Christ, you will meet them in the Christian bookshop the very week looking for the Bible. That is the first thing and first sign. You go to church for one year, you don't have a Bible. One year. But in those days, this is how we knew it. The first thing you would do after you visit the church and you get touched, you say, Jesus is, I never knew Jesus is Lord. You meet them in the Christian bookshop most probably on Monday because the fire is too much in them. Let us make this year to be a unique year. Are you there, child of God? Yes. The man that is cursed shall not see prosperity when it comes. That is your problem. Your problem, you are looking for prosperity. You cannot see it, but prosperity has come. My coming here to your midst, prosperity has come, but you will not see it when it comes. Thank you very much. Let me thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. The grace of God is sufficient for you.